settle into a comfortable position. Whatever is comfortable for you, ideally with your spine fairly straight, so most likely you'll be lying down or sitting. You could even be standing, just keeping in mind that this is about a 20 minute meditation. So if you're able to stand in a very relaxed way and you're able to visualize while doing so with your eyes closed, that would be ideal if you're going to be standing. Once you're comfortable in whatever position you've chosen, go ahead and close your eyes and take a moment to do a body scan from head to toe. So that's just having a light awareness that's sifting down through your body slowly and gradually. And as you do so, just noticing any areas of discomfort. Sometimes it's emotional discomfort and we know it. Sometimes it's physical discomfort and sometimes it could be a combination. Also taking some nice deep belly breaths, belly, chest, exhale into those areas perhaps of discomfort, but also to get yourself more in the present moment and more relaxed. <sighs> to start with, before we go into the meditation visualization, I'm going to read a passage to you from the Gospel of Thomas. So just taking it in, you might have some ideas that come to you as you hear it, but the feel of it is the most important thing, just letting it wash over you and absorbing as little or as much as naturally happens, not straining to catch the words or the meaning. If you'd like to come back to this passage, I will make sure it's included somewhere with this meditation so that you can perhaps do Lexio Divina with it or simply ponder into it in whatever way you wish. So this is from Logion 21 in the Gospel of Thomas. Now when it says he in this passage, it's referring to Jesus. Here we go. Miriam said, Then tell us, Master, what your students are like. How would you describe them? He answered, They are like small children living in a field, not their own. When the landlords return and demand, Give us back our field, the children return it by simply stripping themselves and standing naked before them. Just let that soak in, the feel of it. Perhaps a word or phrase that's sticking with you or shimmering for you. And I'll read it again, the first part of Logion 21 from the Gospel of Thomas. Miriam said, Then tell us, Master, what your students are like. How would you describe them? He answered, They are like small children living in a field, not their own. When the landlords return and demand, Give us back our field, the children return it by simply stripping themselves and standing naked before them. So for today, we are going to use this passage as a touchstone, as a guidepost to the particular guided meditation that we're doing. This practice of shedding layers, of shedding barriers between ourselves and others, perhaps of showing up in our full authenticity, but on a deep energetic and being level. So more than about the content of what we might say, as we often think of authenticity. This is very much about how we show up and very much about that deeper level and the sense of whether we are guarded there or not. All right, so let your awareness soften and if it was already soft, soften it even more. That passage reading was a little more in the thinking space. So softening your awareness even more and not worrying if you hear every word I say, though you'll be lightly following along to this guided meditation. I want you now to imagine yourself in a lovely forest, walking along a path, walking along, Walking along, you're seeing the colors and shapes from your eyes, as if you're right there, seeing out of your eyes the scene before you. Notice other senses as well. What do you hear? Are there any smells? 
perhaps the touch of something like a breeze along your arm. And now you come to a woodland creature, maybe a small one, maybe a large gentle one. You can decide what this creature is. It can be a fantasy creature you've never seen before, or maybe it's a very typical woodland creature that you're encountering. You both notice each other. As you do so, as you notice, there's a stopping and a sense of presence in each other's presence. You sense, you know, the deep level of your own being. And you sense just a slight guardedness that you have. It's a peaceful creature, so you're not afraid of it. But you sense your reluctance to move. You feel you have to hold yourself very, very still. So you're kind of tight and taut because you're not wanting to startle it. And as you notice that, what you do instead is just to soften and dissolve that slight layer that you had around yourself of tenseness, of tautness, in a way of anticipation. You just soften it. And as you soften it, the creature softens too. And you spend a moment more there in each other's presence in a very open state just being there with each other. And then, as if the time is just right, as if it's almost been forechosen, it's the time to go on, and you both at the same moment continue on your way. You in one direction, continuing down your forest path, and the creature across the path and into the other side of the woods. Now let that image fade a bit. It might look like your inner eye is going a bit foggy, or it might just dissipate, or maybe it goes away quickly, letting it fade away. And now you see another image from your mind's eye, remembering that you're in this image, so you're not picturing yourself. You're seeing this, viewing from your own eyes the scene. You're walking along a lovely path next to the ocean. It can be in the sand if you like, or next to it, your preference. You're walking along a beach and no one's there. Maybe it's the early morning. You can hear the sound of the waves. And then you spot in the distance a little spot of color. You can choose the color and as it gets closer into view, as you walk closer, you realize it's a person walking closer to you from the other direction. And there's a little while before you reach each other. Perhaps your mind wonders about who the person is. Perhaps it tells some stories about, what will I say to this person? Will we greet each other? And then finally, the two of you are approaching each other. Take a moment and picture this person in front of you as you take the final steps of approach. Each of you might see a different image. Who is this person in front of you? It's a stranger. What do they look like? Really picture what they look like as you still hear the sounds of the waves and smell that salty ocean air. And when you're right up to each other, you both pause. And the other person says hello, and you say hello back. And then you're not quite sure what to say next. And so you're making some small talk, perhaps about the weather. And you still feel a bit uncertain, both about who this person is, this stranger, and also where this conversation will lead. Perhaps about when it would be an appropriate time to break off the conversation and continue on your walk. And as you do this, you remember that you want to shed layers and be open on the deeper level, particularly with others. And when you remember this, you realize that you are bracing a small amount. You are a bit guarded. You're naturally guarded because you don't know this person. You're naturally bracing a bit because you feel a bit uncomfortable with the conversation because it's awkward. And as you notice this, your layers of guardedness and bracing, you simply soften. You feel into where that bracing is in your body. Perhaps it's in your belly. Perhaps it's a tightness in your shoulders. And you soften that. And then you keep going. 
softening layers that feel more energetic that you can sense, that you've put up towards the other person. It might feel more internal or more like a layer around you or both, but feel into letting them go, letting them soften, dissolve or slide right off. Like those clothes that the Gospel of Thomas children slid off until you feel like there are no barriers anymore between you and the stranger on that deeper plane. And your mind wonders, will the stranger relax too or not? And you can decide right now in your image of what's happening and seeing them in front of you, if they do or don't. But whether they do or not, you know that you have shed layers and they're right there before them as you on your deepest level. And when the time comes to part, it just comes. The two of you say goodbyes and continue on your way. You continue down the path, the beach going on as far as you can see into the distance. And now let this visual fade as well from your mind's eye in whatever way works best for you to fade it out. And now picture a third scene. You are on the street of a small city or a large town, walking on the sidewalk. There are quite a few other people about. It's a beautiful day, maybe a little windy, the sun shining. You can feel that on your skin, along with the breeze. It's one of those breezes that blows in little bursts, not just coming from one steady direction. There's quite a few people going all different directions, some in the same direction as you, some in different directions. And as you walk along, you realize that you're not fully relaxed or open on that deepest level. You feel a sense of guardedness. And you know that it's okay to choose how you interact with anyone. You know that it's okay to be alert. For example, you don't want to bump into anyone. You're trying to be careful about that since it's a little bit crowded. But it's this deep level you're sensing into. And on this deeper level, you sense that you're guarded and sort of bracing yourself against the crowds, almost like an energetic pushback against them. And you realize that you're in your full sovereignty. You don't need to accept energy or anything physical or words from anyone and take them deeply into yourself. You don't need to do that from someone else, and that's not what this is. You realize that in your sovereignty, on this deeper level, you can completely open. You can shed the guardedness and the bracing. You have quite a few layers that are up. And so just one by one, it can be like peeling off a layer by a layer. It can be like dissolving as it goes in whatever way works for you as a felt sensation of how the layers are dropping or dissolving. Go ahead and do that. Take a few minutes feeling into the layers going away, the guardedness going away in whatever of those ways or others works best for you. And as you do so, you notice how you're feeling, how light you feel, how open, how you feel a sense of connection to the whole. You're not separate from this crowd. You are part of the crowd. You're each your own individuals, but yet here you are, this group of humans passing each other, walking on the earth in this town or city, on this beautiful day, on this windy day. And you can just be feeling into that awareness of your oneness, feeling into how that feels for a little bit longer. Now letting this scene dissolve from your mind's eye. I'm going to count you out of the meditation now, still keeping your eyes closed when I finish the count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and still with your eyes closed, just letting yourself come gently back into a light awareness of your body position. 
sensing where you are in the room, sensing any feelings in your body, any sensations in it, or maybe on it, maybe there's a coolness of air. Perhaps you have an awareness of something lingering from the guided meditation, or perhaps you were so deep that you don't have that awareness. Either way, maybe some thoughts start to come into your mind of what you'll be doing next in your day. Hold them off just a little bit longer as you come back to yourself physically. Perhaps now wiggling some fingers or toes. Take some deep breaths, starting to make bigger movements too. And as you're coming fully back or opening your eyes, remember that you can practice this meditation at any time and that you can go into the world and do this. That feeling of letting go of the guardedness, that feeling of letting the layers drop. You can practice this at any time, whether you're interacting with someone, whether you're around other people, or even just as a practice to remember that feeling of it and to help you remember to do it and to live unguarded on the deepest level. <laughs>